Lesson 13.2, box plots. Essential question, how can you use box plots to display data? The median is the middle value or the mean of the two middle values. When data is written in order, the lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set, and the upper quartile is the median of the upper half of a data set. Unlock the problem. In 1885, a pair of jeans cost $1.50. Today, the cost of jeans varies greatly. The chart lists price of jeans at several stores. What are the median, lower quartile, and upper quartile of the data? So we need to look right here at this table. These numbers are written in this table in no particular order. So we need to do a few things. To find the median, we know the first thing we have to do is put all of the numbers in order from smallest to largest. They went ahead and they did that for us here. So $24, $28, $32, $35, $42, $47, $50, dollars 60 and $75. Those are all different prices of jeans. Okay, now step two. Circle the middle number. So let's look and see how many we have. Two, three, four, five, six. Nine, we have an odd number, which means we're going to have a middle number. So let's look, there's four, there's nine numbers. So there's, there's four on this side and four on this side. That'd be eight. So our middle number is going to be right here, $42. And I'm going to fill that in right. Yes. Step three, calculate the upper and lower quartiles. Find the median of each half of the data set. Think, if a data set has an even number of values, the median is the mean of the two middle values. So we're looking on each side here. First, we're looking on the lower quartile, which means the lesser numbers, the smaller numbers. There's two middle numbers, so we're going to do the same exact thing as we do to find a regular median. We take the two middle numbers, which is $28 and $32, and we add them together. So you're going to add 28 plus 32, oh. and you should get 60, so I'm going to put 60 there. Now, there are two numbers we added together, so that's why we are dividing by 2. 60 divided by 2 is 30. Okay. Okay, now let's look at the upper quartile. We have 50 and 60 as the middle numbers, so we're going to add 50 plus 60. Okay, so 50 plus 60, 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 6 is 11, so we're going to have $110, divide by 2 because we add two numbers together, so now we need to take 110 divided by 2, 2 goes into 11, 5 times, 5 times 2 is 10, 1, bring down the 0, it's in there 5 times, and $55 is what you should end up with there. So the median is $42. The lower quartile is $30. And the upper quartile is $55. A box plot is a type of graph that shows how data are distributed by using the least value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the greatest value. Below is a box plot showing the data for gene prices from the previous page. Example, make a dot plot, or sorry, make a box plot. The data set below represents the ages of the top 10 finishers in the 5K race. Use the data to make a box plot. So we're looking at this data. Step one. Order the data from least to greatest, then find the median in the lower and the upper quartiles. So they already have 18 for us. So let's go ahead and mark that out. Now we need to look for larger numbers. Okay. So we have 19. Cross that out. 21. 23. Oh, look, we've got another 23 there. 25. 
35, and 38. Okay, now the median is the middle number. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have an even amount of numbers, which means we're going to have two middle numbers. So we have 8 on this side, or sorry, 4 on this side, 4 on this side, and we have 2 in the middle. So we need to add 23 plus 25. So let's do that over to the side. 3 plus 25 is 48. 48 years. Okay. Now we need to look at the lower and the upper quartile. So they give you a hint here. The lower quartile is the median of the lower half of the data set, which goes from 18 to 23. So let's look here. It goes, starts here ends here. This is the lower quartile. Upper quartile is here. So we need to add 19 plus 21 is 40. 40 divided by 2 is 20. So the lower quartile is 20. And then the upper quartile, we need to add 33 plus 35, which is 68. And then 68 divided by 2 is at 34 years. Okay, so the bottom is 20 years. And the upper, well, let me look at that real quick. Okay. So I went ahead and I skipped a step. So we have 23 plus 25, and that's when you get 48. But then you still have to do 48 divided by 2. And that's where I made a mistake and I put in the wrong number. So 2, 4, 0, bring down the 8. And four. So you're going to put 24 here. Okay, and then the lower quartile um, is going to be 21 years and then 33 years. Draw a number line. Above the number line, plot a point for a least value, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the greatest value. So again, we're going to look at the information at the top. Okay, so the least value is going to be the smallest number, that's 18. So we need to find 18 and plot it. Okay. Going to plot the lower quartile, which is 21. So let's plot that there. The median is 24 years. So plot that over 24. The upper quartile is 33, so here's 35. I'm going to go back to and plot that. And then the highest number in the data set is 38, so there's 40, so 49, or 39, and then 38. Okay. And then you connect those two together, and then you make the rest in a box. The line going through it here. You basically make it look just like the example. The most important part, though, is that you have um, the dots in the correct place. And that's what I did. Draw a box from the lower quartile to the upper quartile. Inside of the box, draw a vertical line segment through the median. So that's um, when I look at your paper, I am able to see what you have as the median. Okay, share and show. Find the median, lower quartile, and upper quartile of the data set. The scores of 11 students on a geography quiz, and here are their scores. Order from least to greatest, and they have already done that for you. So the median is going to be the middle number. So go ahead and try to figure that out. Okay, let's look. Okay, there's 11, so there's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on each side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
and your middle number is going to be 86. Okay. The lower quartile is going to be 78. The upper quartile is going to be 90. Okay. And then you have 51, 49, and 61. Make a dot plot to display the data set in exercise two. So exercise two would be here. We're gonna make a data set here. So the median is 51. So right there, 49, lower quartile, upper quartile, 61. Okay, now we need to look for the smallest number, which is 46. It's going to be dotted there. And then the largest number is going to be 65. So we're going to plot that down on the data chart too. So we connect these. And then we make a box from the lower to the upper. And then we make a straight line through the median. Okay, now remember, with this share and show exercise, I will be coming around to check your share and show. I want you to show me um, your work and how you figured out the median, the lower quartile, and the upper quartile. So you need to have addition and division showing how you got those numbers. You can use a calculator, but you still need to show your work. You go ahead and start with on your own. Make sure you have this checked before you start your online homework.